I guess I, you know, I see it from that point of view, oh, suddenly we have to hire the right advisors. Um, yes, the money's there. For how long is it going to keep flowing? All those, those questions that are, you know, a business that bursts out out of the blue, you know, yes. faces. Yes. Do, you, do you come across those? Um, look, of course you can look, embrace look, them, look, you? Look, well, <laughs> well, you do. I mean, and again, it's, it's more about, you know, you, you, look at the, you look at the people you're dealing with and you think, are they, you know, people of integrity and et cetera, et cetera. And if you really believe in their business, um, you know, absolutely, you try and support them. You get excited by it and passionate about what they're doing and so you try and support them in the process. Um, but, you know, again, um, you know, if, 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 but the fit has to be right. Mm. If, if, if you're not getting on, I think it'll come out then the experience for both parties won't be good. And mm. it's an important point to make that as an advisor, you want to have a good experience also. You want yeah. to enjoy actually delivering the service to them. So customer experience is critical, but from, from, from being the advisor, you know, if, if you don't uh, enjoy it and have a good experience, I don't think the person on the other side is going to have a good experience also. Uh, with the, um, the sort of like reframing to customer experience, I, I've got to, I remember my first flight on a, a Virgin Blue uh, airplane and how much fun it was. After flying, you know, for years on um, the other airlines, how stodgy they were, and as a, as the customer, you were almost looked down on as you were seated, and and the experience was always, you know, icky. And then the first Virgin Blue flight I went on, it was fun. The dialogue was, you know, about lightening the experience, making it easier to get through, knowing that everyone finds flying a bit, you know, uncomfortable. Sure. Um, I guess the, the term customer experience to me is sort of that golden era when this, this new way of doing things sure. burst on, onto the scene and uh, yeah, do, do you agree with that, that customer oh, experience critical. is about doing things a bit differently and an, a, a better way? Yeah, and not being scared to try something um, and I think for Virgin um, it was their point of difference. You know, they identified that um, their business um, sorry, the, the, the space or the industry that was, was, was stodgy and it was hard and it was frustrating. You could never get what you wanted. So they tried, had a business model where it was easy, it was, it was more cost competitive, it was fun. So all the things that everybody hated about the other, they, they tried, the they did the opposite <laughs> and, did it, and, and did it better. And I think they, they, they saw success out of that. Um, and I think, you know, it takes a particular individual to be able to see, see, see the way to do that. But I think that is, um, the success of a business today is if you can see what, you know, if you can identify what your point of difference is and clearly doing things with your customers in a better way and giving them better experience would have to be a point of difference when you're competing against maybe a, a, an older, more staid and, uh, you know, business which has been around for a long time, which has got stuck in its, its sort of old, perhaps corporate ways. And I think if you can do things differently, and people, you know, you, you identify where people's, you know, uh, um, enjoyment will lie, and where they'll have a better experience. I think it's 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 got to be a recipe for for success. We've spoken quite a lot about how um, you try to create the right customer experience for your clients and the businesses you work with, but just um, putting yourself in the shoes where you're going out to dinner with your family in a, a restaurant you haven't tried. What customer experience do you expect when you turn up? Um, oh, for me, it's, it's, it's more about the people who are delivering the service actually being interested and actually being attending to what I want. So, you know, being respectful that I don't need a waiter hovering over me every, every five minutes sort of trying to pour a glass of wine or whatever it happens to be. But, you know, and that, that's hard because they don't, they don't know you. You've walked in the restaurant, they don't really know you. But I think in that context, I think they have to try and sum you up pretty quickly and strike up a friendly, you know, conversation with you and just try and gauge fairly quickly, well, what sort of people are these? What are these customers like? What do I think they're probably going to like out of dining in my, in my restaurant, you know? And there's going to be certain things. I mean, you go to a restaurant and you know that there's a particular style and they do things in a particular manner. So therefore, as a customer, you have to accept, well, that's what I'm going there for and hopefully they're true to that. But I think also, they ha I think it'd be nice if they can tailor it a bit more towards the, the, uh, the customer walking in the door. So for me, you know, I'm not, I don't have large expectations, but I, 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 don't, I would like to think that people can identify what I'm after and support me in, in that, you know, and deliver what I'm looking for. When was the last time a, um, someone de delivered a service that blew your socks off? 
that you actually said that was the experience uh, I wanted. Or, I, I, that was a surprise and I like that. Well, I, I had an experience, I was in Sydney recently and um, my son and I were uh, um, flying back and we had a hire car and um, unfortunately we left something in the hire car and um, 10 minute gap between us leaving the car and remember we hadn't, hadn't uh, left something in there. We raced back and the goods that were in there were stolen. They were taken. Oh. Terrible experience. Yeah. So potentially for that hire car company, they had a, a big dilemma. How are we going to deal with this issue? Because their first thing to do is, well, it's on our responsibility. To their credit, they have done everything it is humanly possible to try and recover those goods. And they sent me money back for the, for the price of the goods. And they even sent my wife flowers. Um, and for me, that was an enormous experience. So it was, went from a, a situation which was very distressing mm. Because um, the item were, were actually an, an, uh, an anniversary present for my wife, so it was distressing, you know. And they completely turned it around, and I thought that was impressive. That was really impressive because I was, I wasn't um, heated up, but I was ready to, you know, to do a whole lot of stuff, which was going to let the world know that this organisation hadn't supported me. <laughs> which we can but they, do these which days. Which we can do these days, <laughs> but but I didn't. I was restrained, and I gave them the opportunity to actually deliver, and they did. They did. They, they have delivered, and there's still a, another bit to that, which will hopefully play out. But, but as far as I'm concerned, they've done the right thing. And to me, that was was it exceptional service. I think they did. They did what um, they should do. Mm. But unfortunately, I think we've been conditioned to to, to 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 downgrade that and expect that they wouldn't do it. And that was mm. sort of my initial reaction. Mm. But I think they they uh, they did. You know, it was good. It was terrific. It was really good. And it was good to see that. Um, that they did actually follow through and do the right thing. That's a really interesting point as well because um, what you're revealing there is that the customer experience isn't just about what happens when things go right, but what do you do and what experience do you give the customer when things go wrong? Sure, yeah. sure. And I think that's, you know, it's, it's, it's the relationship. It's, again, mm -hmm. I, I draw the analogy to a relationship, you know. Relationships have their good times and their bad times. And, you, you know, we all need to know how to deal with, uh, with the, the, the impact of those things in both those times. And it's no different with, with customers, you know. You're going to have good experiences and you're going to have bad experiences. And particularly in businesses which are growing and you're delegating some of that, that um, uh, interaction to other people in your organisation, you can't control it. Mm. You can't control it. You, know, you can have many systems and processes in terms of trying to make sure that things are right doesn't always happen and relationships with other people in your organisation don't always work with, 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 with your customers and so things might go wrong. Mm. So you need to ha learn how to deal with that and, and react appropriately to that to restore the, the trust, the trust yeah. and, and restore the experience, you know. Mm. And I think, you know, how you react to those things is almost more important to how you actually, you know, because once you've got a relationship established, you know, most, and you've got that mutual respect and trust, things have to be, go pretty bad before, mm -hmm. before that gets sort of washed away. But when, when something does go wrong, how you respond to that, I think is critically important. So I feel really the key, the key going forward is focus on the relationship and get the experience right for Absolutely. both parties. Absolutely. And I think particularly in what we've seen in the last 12 to 18 months with the, you know, global financial crisis, I think most things you read and you hear about, and I, I, I agree with, is get the relationship, restore your relationship, make sure you're close to your customers and give them a good experience. Because if you do give them a good experience, I think they'll stick. And it's, you want them to be, you, the longevity of a, of, a, of a customer is what's important because it costs a lot of money to get new customers. Mm. Far easier to keep your existing ones. Phil, thank you for your time today. Pleasure. Thanks very much.